Hey everybody, this is Allison from Alley Cat Creations. How are you? I'm gonna do something special today. I'm gonna to do an oracle reading for the signs. So I'm gonna do air signs right now. So I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna do a tarot pull for the air signs with a, a Norn spread out. These are runic tarot, they're a little different. And we'll get a message for you guys. Remember to, if this resonates with you, please like, at least like, share if it resonates with you and subscribe. This is a general reading. If it doesn't resonate with you, it's okay. Take what does resonate and I'm gonna begin. Oopsies. Hey, Spirit, what does the air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius need to know? What does the air signs need to know? First card we have six of shields. We have the Harrowfent. And then we have a sword. So in the Norn spread, this is what we, what do you desire? What skill do you possess to make this happen? And what chances of, of success does fate give you if you weave the strand together? So let's find the Six of Shields. The Six of Shields is about keeping the balance, the life force alive. There is a delicate balance in the force of the Viking world. In this case, the clans go goes to battle so that many protect their lands. They take what they need to grow their clan in numbers, wealth, and abilities. This card is perseverance, support, respect, community accomplishment, growth. And soul is the rune on top, and that represents speed and the ability to perform quickly. So this is what we are desiring to perform quickly, to be perseverant, to have some support and respect around the community, accomplishments and growth. That's what we are desiring, air signs. Let's find this little hair of hunt. And this is what skill do you possess? For Seti is the God of justice and reconciliation. As such, he is powerful force to help resolve issues between Vikings and tribes. The Hierophant represents an influential figure in society, a spiritual teacher. The figure on the throne is more concerned with the religious and moral topics. Vikings learn how to read and make their symbols that compose the runes, their language. They use the power of their voice to know and cement the true meaning into their minds. 
make good decisions, awaken to understanding, teaching, religion, caretaker, cultural knowledge. The sign is radio. Journey, travel, bringing others, bringing order from chaos. So there is movement in our desire, the community, the clan, to the Hierophant, which is a journey to travel with the rune and the waking and understanding and teaching. And let's see how we close this out. The Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords represents insight. This can be described as the moment you inhale deeply into your body, the common center stilling before a movement moment occur. The Ace of Swords represents the source of all ideas. It can grow with us as the plant can grow from a seed or a leaf. Truth, awareness, a new idea, start a new project, initial, initial spark. And the runes on the sword is an infinite form of self-protection, uncontrollable injury from outside, is the potential energy that motivates you, is the protection of the divine, is a sudden impulse to do something. So it looks like we are desiring a lot here within a community within. And we, need to keep in mind, we need to be the teacher, we need to be the leader, we need to be insightful. And that you are divinely being guided at this time with new ideas, a start of a new project will be coming through to you, air signs. Awesome. Spirit, what messages do you have for the air signs? What messages do you have for the air signs? Spirit? What messages do you have for the air sign spirit? Wow, soul family, calling your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. So this fits in perfectly with the six of shields. Call in your tribe. Share your voice. Come out of the cave. Persecution expression. I'm going to read from that. Let's see, where is that? Okay, share your voice. You are being called to share your voice, perhaps by speaking up in a relationship or through writing, speaking, singing, or another form of creative expression. We each hold a truth deep within us that longs to be expressed. There has never been a better time in history than right now to rise up, speak your truth, and share your soul's voice. If you feel, feel fearful, 
Know that you are not alone and that the world needs your unique tone in order to harmonize. As each of each rise up and share our song, we make it easier for the next person to do the same. Absolutely, we need to stand up. There's a lot of things going on in our world right now, air signs. What message do you have for the air signs? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Messages do you have spare for the air signs? A message do you have spirit for the air signs? Guys, this card came up. With um, Earth. Or was it fire? I don't remember. Covenant. Commitment, sacred contract, the greater good. You are being invited by this by the universe to enter into a sacred contract. The covenant card may also be a call to recognize that an ancient agreement you made with spirit needs to be renewed or canceled and torn up. Is an opportunity showing up right now that is full of promise, but you are unable to sign and seal the deal and commit to it? The reason is that it needs to be elevated to a secret covenant. A covenant must be founded on the truth, not your truth or his truth or her truth, but a greater truth that takes the destiny of all in account. The covenant is not about your agenda only. Spirit must be invited to come to the table as a guarantor of the good, faith of all, and to ensure that the direction you are embarking in will be for the greater good. It's important that you understand what you are signing up for. Be sure to read the fine print so as to commit to something you will soon regret or that will compromise your integrity. Do not hesitate to put all your own cards on the table so that your motives and desires are transparent and nothing is left in darkness. When shadow elements remain hidden, the covenant breaks down and becomes a contract with an unspoken dark side that is inevitably fulfilled. Absolutely, guys. So this is absolutely showing up with whatever we're birthing here, whatever we're designing here within the family, the soul family. What is coming to fruition? We have a contract that either you need to break or to keep, keep in mind. Spirit, what messages do you have for the air signs? What messages do you have for the air signs, Spirit? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Spirit, tell me what you need to know in the air signs. What messages do you have for the air sign spirit?
Oh, we have Moonlight Enchantment and Elves Playfulness. Magic is all around you. The veil between the worlds is thin right now. Fairies, elves, angels, and spirit beings are just a thought away. It is indeed a magical universe. And the key to opening the doors to those realms is to trust. All may not be as it seems. By the protective light of the moon, the magic of the universe surrounds you. Even though it is dark, the light of the moon shows you the way, reminding you to trust what you feel you are safe, even if you can't see. Have faith that you're being supported in mysterious and wondrous ways by unseen beings in accordance with your highest good. The spirit of moonlight enchantment says, believe in magic. You are being given powerful magical messages from spirit. Take time to listen. Allow the illuminescent receptive energy of the moon to activate your creativity. You receive mystical messages and you are spiritual messenger for others. That can tie in with the Hierophant that you're for your teaching. If you're into that. We have elves, playfulness. Allow your inner child to play. Embrace your innocence. If you have been taking life too seriously, this card reminds you to light in up. All that is required of you is to enjoy yourself. If your responsibilities and hard work have been cogged, your life force energy, it's time to give yourself a break and have some fun. The spirit of the elves says, Embrace your innocence, let go of heavy responsibilities, give yourself a break, nurture your spirit by doing something fun. Joy is, an important, is important for sustaining yourself as food you eat. Absolutely. So whatever we're birthing and joining in with others, remember you need to be playful. Know that there is a contract that you then need to make or break with others. Spirit, what can you tell the air signs? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What messages do you have for the earth? For the air signs, sorry. What messages do you have for the air sign? What messages do you have for the air sign? Surrender to the divine. Conclusions are within reach. What messages do you have for the air signs? What messages do you have for the air signs?
A message of spirit do you have for the air signs? What message of spirit do you have for the air signs? Octarian light codes, evolutionary downloads, recalling power, future thinking. Just want to read you the meaning to this. You can evolve into greater state of being now. This begins with how you approach and even the most mundane of tasks in your own little universe. Show up in ways that you've never shown up before. Instead of checking out of this planet, it's time to check in. Instead of feeling that life is happening to you, realize that you have a huge part to play. Recall your power. Realize that you are part of the evolution of humanity and it's time to become the leader you were born to be doesn't matter if you're leading yourself or a larger group. The key is to create more loving ways of doing things. Honor the ideas or thoughts that you have been having recently. If you have been hearing high-pitched noises, seeing flickers of light, or sensing that you are being visited by beings and you're asleep, know that you are, being, that you are receiving downloads from heaven. Octarians are with you. That's amazing, guys. Higher heart activation, dropping shields, divine love. Your heart is healed. I want to see. Where are you? You have experienced much fear, separation, and heartache in your life. And heartache in your lifetime. This has encouraged you to close off and shield yourself from the possible hurt. For a long time, you've been trying to open yourself back up but have been concerned about being far too vulnerable. This card shows you this card shows you have realized that love isn't something you have to work for or such for, but your divine inheritance. You have also recognized that this energy isn't something that comes through relationships or external experiences, but in your natural state, Sorry, guys, I keep pulling two pages here. Being, the more you close off, the more you close off from your true self. The more you drop your shield, the more your love is revealed. The more you express love, the more it's reflected back to you. Love is your truth. I have a kitty cat. Hi, mommy. Did I did I take you to steal your space? Sorry, guys. I have a kitty cat dilemma here. Up. Oh, all right, she's jumping off. Okay, spirit. What messages do you have for the air signs? messages do you have for the air signs spirit what messages do you have for the air signs What messages do you have for the air sign?
Okay, we have the High Priestess of Air, which is really funny. That's your son, what I'm reading for you guys right now. You have drawn this symbol of the High Priestess of Air, the goddess of rational thought. Logical thinking, reason, and using your mind to consider the next right action are the qualities encouraged by the High Priestess of Air. Now is the time to think before you act. You are blessed with a wondrous mind and imagination. Your ability to communicate is enhanced when you meet the high priestess of air. This is the moment to have reasonable conversations and make calculated decisions. This fits in with the soul family, the covenant, all of this. And then we have oath. My lovely child, you have chosen the symbol of oath. This is the symbol for all promises and a reminder to keep the ones you have made. An oath is never made lightly nor in jest. Purposes are meant to be, promises are meant to be honored. When you choose this symbol, perhaps it's time to look at how you have made your promises. Have you crossed your fingers behind your back, relinquishing the magic that binds you to the oath? Has anyone broken his or her promise to you? Let the person go. Don't hold on if someone refuses to be honorable. You don't want this person in your life. For now, the most important promise you can make is to yourself. Promise to be kind, loving, honorable, and good. Do no harm. To belong to me, you must keep that promise. Absolutely. Spirit, what did the air signs need to know? What messages do the earth signs need to know? What do the earth signs need to know, spirit? What do the air signs need to know, spirit? What do the air signs need to know, spirit? Blue flame, connect to the blue flame, which is the light of pure love within you. Earth guide, your sacred calling upon this planet is to simply love and be loved. Release. Release anything that keeps you from your path of authenticity. Not bad, Earth signs. Earth, I keep calling the Earth air. Spirit, what did the air signs need to know? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy. Spirit, what do the air signs need to know? What messages do you have for them? What messages do you have for the air signs? Spirit, 
Spirit, what messages do you have for the air signs? And I'll put them back in their little boxes, guys. It goes bananas. Breaking bad habits, self-acceptance, excellent mental health, and letting go of vices. Earth. Ask the element of Earth for grounding, stability, and strength in times of chaos. That's probably why I kept saying it. <laughs> Mystic star, harmony in the home and great friendships, which is proving throughout your reading with the people that are in and around you. So guys, so far this is looking great with the magic. Things are definitely coming into fruition for you. You have light codes, you have the divine helping you. You have blue flame energy. You have the high heart activation, a lot of going within, a lot of surrendering to the divine. Knowing that there could be people and contracts you need to break, but don't worry. And the people that are in and around you, make sure your oaths, are in contracts are solid and just be playful with people and that there's a lot of magic happening spirit what message do you have for the air signs gemini libra aquarius What message do you have for the air signs, Spirit? Scorpio, investigate. Drop assumption and ask questions. Be fascinated by a mystery. Deep dive into the well rather than settle for the surface. Look under rocks and be curious as the situation is going to require some research. Take nothing at face value. Probe the conscious and the unconscious passions that motivate this situation. Question everything, including your own concerns, jealousy, possessiveness, drain your energy and waste time. Before triggering, triggering your defenses, the scorpion sting as ask if that response will get you where you actually need. Transformation, Scorpio loans you the strength and curiosity to plume and the depths and face your monsters. Then soar to new heights and transform the situation. Feel the well within that connects to the collective source. Spirit, what is the overall feeling of the reading for the air signs? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What is the overall feel for the air signs, spirit? I'm 
Another sign got Issa too. We got Issa. Frozen. This card is associated with the ice and frozen water and generally indicates a blockage, standstill, or a lack of action in some area in your of your life. This could be a loss of physical energy or a mental fog or a psychological block that paralyzes you. The stasis will likely cause frustrating delays in your life, but instead of fighting the obstacle, the card advises you to stay calm and converse with your energy. Sometimes there is nothing you can do, but wait for a change in circumstances. Bide your time because the ice will melt. As far as relationships are concerned, this card points to icy tension and possible conflict that feels like it cannot be resolved. There is an urgent need by, for objectivity and concentration now. You need to decide whether you are going to invest any more of your warmth and energy into a, into a certain relationship to see if the ice will thaw or if it's time to gently and calmly let it drift away which this card is definitely speaking, <clears throat> excuse me, about the covenant, the soul family, the clan, even the high priestess and the oath. This is speaking about everything. Okay, spirit. How are you helping the air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energies? How are you helping them at this time? how are you helping the air sign at this time? The sun of 417 hertz. You have what it takes. You are a light bearer. Within you is a, a healing power and spiritual wisdom you can tap into to find your way through any confusion or doubt. Have confidence in yourself and know you are enough. Expect an affirming yes from the universe. The 14, 417 hertz frequency facilitates a healing shift into the vibration of the higher self. Your authentic life path is directed by your higher self. As it is unique, there is no use comparing your path to any other path in order to determine its valid, valid and value. Your true life path may lead you away from your familiar directly into worlds unknown. The moment the soul takes its authentic path, wondrous awakening can take place. There is a feeling of closeness and connection to sacred. This frequency helps wipe away experiences of alienation and reestablish a deep and loving connection with the universe. It cleans traumatic experiences and memories and any malignant habits formed as a consequence of past pain to allow the soul to experience true kindness, compassion, and love for self and others. In this oracle, it signifies that no matter what's happening in your life, you got this. Air signs, you definitely got this. That was a really good reading, guys. If you want a private reading with me, the information will be in the um, description box below. 
If this resonated with you, please make sure you give me a like, please. Make sure you see and check out my other work. I do children's readings, just regular books. And then I do very other fun adult book readings um, that might interest you, who knows? But if not, that's okay too. Um, but yeah, see you on the next one. Sending each and every one of you love and light. Have a great day.